you could explain it as simple as possible for us, what is semantic audio analysis and music recommendation? Yeah, so I mean, first of all, we want to make uh, the usage of all these tools as simple as possible. So for future parts, we build a very compelling UI, you log in, you get nice dashboards and everything. So we hide the deep and uh, the complex technology behind it. Uh, similarly, at Music Map, uh, where we have our portal, uh, where you can upload any music you want, and you get it tagged with uh, dozens of parameters, dozens of indicators that we determine in the music. So um, when we talk about semantic audio analysis, what does it mean? So first of all, um, I don't have a, a background in musicology, but we do work with musicologists in-house at MusiMap. So we have the fresh and uh, with a long lasting experts, our founder, Pierre Lebec, uh, has more than 25 years experience in different fields of music, music psychology, but also film selecting music for film and advertising as a music supervisor. And this knowledge helps to, to, to talk with the experts, to rely on, on how they annotate data, and we learn from the experts. We learn physically in the, as, a, as a scientist, as a data scientist here. Um, I didn't mention, but I'm the chief innovation officer. I mean, you mentioned it, yeah. At uh, MusiMap, that means I'm responsible for the AI and data science, uh, but also how we train AI based on uh, music experts' knowledge. And here we talk about semantic audio analysis. So what does it mean? We usually start with analyzing the signal in the music. So there, there's platforms out there which rely fully on just user interaction, like thumbs up, thumbs down, or how people uh, react to playlists. Um, that is very well working if you have millions of users and can gather a lot of data. But what if you don't have that? And we, we try to tackle this by directly analyzing um, the thing we're talking about here, that is music. So we, we're going down to the signal, um, reading that signal, and yeah, obviously the signal only tells you so, so much. So the art of a data scientist to, is to find out methods, what part of the signal do we analyze? How do we treat the signal? How do we read um, the tempo? The tempo, you can sometimes, like if you're an audio, um, if you are into audio editing, you see the, these waveforms and you see, it, you can see the rhythm and you can see the big amplitude. Um, you can see what's going on if you do a spectrum analysis, that's usually the colorful interpretation of the frequencies of the music. As a human, as an expert in the in the audio field, you can see already a lot. So is there uh, a lot of bass? Is there high notes in the music? So the art of, of the data science department here is to find algorithms, to find methods, to read that spectrum in a, in a meaningful way. And um, we started out with this, but nowadays we train artificial intelligence. So AI doing that, um, deep learning is a is a keyword here that is in in many people's it, that is shared a lot now in the in the media now. This is not just a buzzword; it's an actual technology that is there. It's there to stay. Um, it's currently the state of the art of um, uh, AI and uh, analysis with AI. And we train such deep learning models on human knowledge, on the knowledge that our musicologists provide. Um, and these uh, types of neural networks, so deep learning or deep neural networks, they're a type of neural networks and part of AI sector, um, they can be trained um, with a vast amount of knowledge. And MuseMap is one of the few companies that has really a vast amount of these annotations, like descriptions of music. Like, how do you imagine that? So we have our musicologists, they sit down, listen to track and describe it in every detail they can. They, uh, they tell us the tempo, uh, what key it is, but also um, typically in a song, we annotate 20 moods, uh, six different genres with intensities. So we know that the song is uh, mostly pop, but partially also soul uh, and R&B. And uh, we know all these different nuances in the music and that's what makes a difference because um, you can train an AI with a, with a few hundred examples um, just with a, with a genre, but then it will learn only so much. But with that vast database we have of these annotations, we can do a lot with the AI and we manage that is actually recognizing uh, emotions. And when we say music recognition, we detect um, all of these concepts in the music, semantic music analysis means we extract meaning out of it. And the meaning, meaning, you know, the styles, the moods and emotions, uh, we know the tempo and so on. Mm -hmm.